Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32, here at Destroy the Ever Living King Calamity Boo Boo. Staying off of that like and subscribe button as our infinite impermanence gets cross out designator. And as we try to play through every single interruption as we ash the branded fusion, ladies and gentlemen, Destroy the ever living boo-boo stand off that like and subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1300 ladder. I have some amazing news. <laughs> we have broken Centurion, ladies and gentlemen. As you saw in that opening hand, we opened up hand trap after hand trap after hand trap. We don't care about Super Poly. We don't care one bit. I have finally broken Centurion. I tried so many different versions. I tried the Naturia version, which is actually kind of dog water, I'll admit. We tried the Dalmatica version, the Horus version. And finally, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to play a pure version with hand traps out the ass. Ladies and gentlemen, we're playing 12 hand traps in this build. And the gas actually doesn't stop. It was actually funny because as I was testing this uh, last night, at the time of me making this video, I actually opened up really bad where I opened up like double droll, imperm, nib, and then like my fifth card was like a talent. So like I had no way to play. And it was game three against Rescue Ace and the Rescue Ace player also bricked. So we set two and pass. And both of us couldn't draw anything for like three or four turns. Finally, I was able to get some gas going and we ended up beating him. But that's thanks to all of the hand traps that we had. Also, fun fact, um, Legadia says, if I pause this here real quick, Legadia says that uh, your monsters with 2,000 or less attack can't be destroyed in battle. So when you special summon it back with the uh, Phalanx Trap, it decreases its attack by 15, bringing it to 2,000 exact. Homeboy can't be destroyed in battle, so you can just put this thing in defense and constantly recur cards every turn. Anyway, I'll go ahead and proceed with the replay now. I thought that that was hilarious. Also, the trap banishes a monster and special summons it back. So if you banish Legadia and special summon it back, you get to draw a card and pop another monster. Oh my god, this deck is disgusting. Like, if you so if you go first with Centurion, you're able to FTK the opponent with King Calamity, which a lot of people say King Calamity needs to be banned. 99% of the time, it wins you the game. But there's that 1% of the time where, like, if you're playing against something like, say, Labyrinth, where they can just set like four or five back row and not care about a King Calamity then they don't really care about the Calamity being on the field as I drop out a red Supernova Dragon with like 50, yeah, it's a 5,500 attack. Like this thing's insane. It's going to have 6,000 attack. It's it's so good. It's so damn good. <laughs> like this deck, with each turn that passes, it just gets more and more of a snowball to where like it just can't be beat. And I was debating whether or not I was going to play Cosmic Blazar, but Cosmic Blazar is actually kind of necessary because you're not always going to be able to get off the King Calamity because it's a when effect, not a if effect. So it can very easily miss timing. So sometimes you want to be able to go for the Cosmic Blazar. But if you watched my video the other day talking about hand traps and how they need to be hit, I still stand by that, right? Like Centurion, with what cards they have in the archetype to their name right now, it is good when it works. But when it doesn't, it's just terrible. Like whether it's because you're bricking on too many hand traps or because you can't get your engine going because literally one hand trap farts on this deck and you basically lose. Yes, you have the other hand traps to back you up, but that's not always going to be a guaranteed way to win. You know, maybe the hand traps you have, the opponent has a call by for it or they have a talents to like rip one out of your hand, whatever the case is, as we kill them with 6,000 attack. Let's go ahead and jump cut here to the next replay. You probably just saw a jump cut there. I don't know until I edit this video. But one hand trap farts on this deck, it can kind of lose. Uh, this is game two of that same match, by the way, that you just saw from the first replay. But God, I've fallen in love with this deck. Like this, I have not had this much fun with the deck since when Cash Tier was at full power and we were just banishing everything like crazy out of the opponent's deck, their extra deck, locking out six, seven zones, whatever the case was. I love these kind of decks. Like, I know that that's degenerate to say, but I love these kinds of decks, ladies and gentlemen, because it's like, if you can't stop me with what I'm trying to do, or if I have the know-how and enough skill to play through your crap, I'm going to win the ball game every time. And it's just beautiful. Also, you should be side decking Fenrir's in this deck because most players are going to side out Nibiru going first. So Fenrir just becomes an even more sexy, powerful card. Like, woo, put put Fenrir on your Tinder profile. You're, you're going to get some matches. <laughs> 
So this deck is just hella fun. Does it need more support? Oh yeah, like we just got Lava Golem there and I actually almost lost because of the Lava Golem here. You'll see that I get down low in life, but luckily I'm able to make a comeback and win. I kind of shotgun the Druid Swarm too early here, but I figured that I would show off these replays because this should go to show the ability that Centurion has to destroy the meta when it is piloted correctly, when it is built correctly. I've noticed that Centurion tends to do really well in the grind game. Like if you go first and the opponent doesn't have a way to stop you, you're going to King Calamity them and just kill them, assuming that they don't have a way to just like set back row and pass and get to the next turn. But in a grind game, this deck actually does really well. And that's what's great about it. Like you set up a Primera and a Trudea, you're probably going to win. But like being able to have access to the level 12 dragon synchros with crimson dragon like you got to think about everything that's in your arsenal at that point like you've got red supernova red supernova dragon you've got cosmic blazar for an omni negate and then some like being able to stop a summon and everything else i summon the crimson dragon there in attack mode just to troll like cosmic blazar is a good monster and archfiend king calamity deals damage equal to the monster's attack so like you're doing a lot of damage with that and it's, it's actually kind of insane when this deck's able to pop off just how hard it is to stop. Like, it's it's absolutely phenomenal. And for the last replay as I round out this video, basically, I just want to end off on saying, look, if you want to play Centurion, you got to play it pure. The Horus cards are good, but they can also lead to bricks if you don't have a way to get them out of your hand with either Stand Up or King Sarcophagus. They help insulate your plays if you make like a Photon Lord or a Hope Harbinger for like a Negate. But I feel like you can also kind of insulate yourself with playing things like Crossout Designator um, because you're playing so many hand traps. Crossout Designator actually becomes a pretty decent card going first or second, uh, and which in turn gives you a lot of flexibility uh, for what hand traps you want to play and also your side deck. It, and it's really cool with what we have access to right now with the Centurions that you have basically 24 to 25 non-engine slots that you can play because of so few Centurion monsters we have access to. So, you know, you can play things like TC Boo in the main deck because it's good going first or second. You can play 12 Hand Traps, 3 Imperm, 3 Nib, 3 Ash, 3 Valor, or 3 Droll if you prefer, even though you will lock yourself out of the draw with Legadia. TC Boo, you're never affected by TC Boo. You've got Dragon, you've got Machine. Primera is a Spellcaster. You've got Cross Out, like... How you saw, I think I had it in one of the replays here, maybe not, but like you can cross out a cross out designator and I was able to do that to stop the opponent from negating my imperm and I negated their Fenrir and just proceeded to make King Calamity. It's, it's so good when it works and I'm really curious to see if they get any more support in the future. I know that we're getting that synchro monster that like can make a monster be treated as a continuous trap and you can summon it and like all that stuff. I think that comes out in Phantom Nightmare, but Going into with what we have right now with Centurion, I think Pure is going to be your best bet. You're going to load in like 12 hand traps. You're going to play two Emmet Sixes. You're going to play three of everything else. And you're going to play two Potted Desires, and you're just going to laugh all the way to the bank. If you go first, you set up for the King Calamity. If you go second, you hand trap the opponent to hell and back and just stop them from playing, and you just OTK with big level 12 synchros. Also, what's really funny, keep in mind that... Um, Sky Crisis can be made with two level 12s, so you can hard make the Sky Crisis and give it two materials and then detach to bounce a monster non-targeting. Something that you probably, well, actually, you definitely saw in one of the earlier re replays with Branded. I actually didn't have a way to out Chaos Angel, so I did add in Underworld Goddess into the extra deck. Imperm does out Chaos Angel, um, but outside of that, you actually don't have a way to deal with things like Chaos Angel. You don't have a way to deal with big monsters outside of, like, making bigger monsters. So, like, in that Brandon matchup, I just summoned out, like, King Calamity. I summoned out Cosmic Blazar, Nova Dragon, just to have the bigger monster than Chaos Angel. Because eventually, like, especially in a grind game, if you've got the bigger monsters, you're going to win. But... This, this deck is so much fun. Like, it, it is so crazy good. Have I been hit with Cosmic Cyclone yet? No. Am I side decking D Shifters in case I get hit with Shifter and I can cross out Designator it? Yes. D Shifter isn't the most deadly thing in the world. Uh, I would definitely rather be drolled though instead of D Shifter because I've had people droll me and I still proceed to just make a Legadia and set up a Crimson, or not a Crimson Dragon, set up a King Calamity for the next turn. Although Crimson Dragon into King Calamity, so same thing. But uh yeah uh, it's for the time being this is really good it'll be interesting to see people start playing cosmic cyclone because the thing is i've had people try and pop the stand-up century on and it's like hey sugar boo bear read the effing card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while you control a centurion monster card period 
the Lagadia is a monster card. If I activate Primera and Trudea and summon them, I now control a monster card. Plus, if Primera is in the back row, that offers protection for my level 5 or higher Centurions anyway. They can't be destroyed by card effects at that point. So, the Lagadia, with its own effect, if it's at 2,000 attack or lower, and the Primera in the back row can't be destroyed by battle by card effects. So, you just sit on it in defense. It's really cute and cheesy. But, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I feel like I finally broke Centurion. Hopefully uh, this video doesn't blow up too much because uh, your boy doesn't want to be getting hit with Cosmic Cyclone on my stand-up Centurion. And then I'll be raging all over again talking about how hand traps need to be hit. They still need to be hit. I think we got too many in the meta. But let me know down in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.